Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be solving this interesting algebra question from Japanese Math Olympiad. The question is, calculate the value of square root of 11 to the power of four plus 100 to the power of four plus 111 to the power of four over two in the form of integer. Since we need to present the answer in the form of the integer, what you have inside of your square root should be a perfect square form. So that's why we need to focus on those numbers inside, especially on the numerator part. So we have 11 to the power of 4, and then 100 to the power of 4. And then we have 111 to the power of 4. What we can notice is this 111 is now the same as 100 plus 11. So instead of using the numbers, we can come up with two variables, x and y. We can set your x is equal to 11, and then say y is equal to 100. Okay, then 111 is going to be 11 plus 100, that is now x plus y then. So the numerator is really the same as then x to the power of four, now plus y to the power of four, plus x plus y to the power of four. And if you distribute this x plus y to the power of four, this one now should be looking like x to the power of four plus four, x cubed y plus 6x square y square and then plus 4x now y cubed plus now only y to the power of 4 as the last term. And then if you add this x to 4 and y to 4 to these terms, then you will be having now 2x to the power of 4 plus now 2y to the power of 4 and rest of the terms. So we have 4x cubed y plus 6x square y square, and then we have plus 4x y cubed. So this has to be your numerator, but then again, we need to divide this by 2. So if you go ahead and do this, then we can simplify your coefficients. So if you divide all of your terms by 2, then eventually we will be working on x to the power of 4. Now, plus y to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed uh, y, and then plus 3x square y square, and then plus 2xy cubed. This is the expression that we need to work on from now. Okay, so this is the expression that we need to work on from now. So we have, first of all, x to the power of 4 and y to the power of 4. They're the perfect square. X to the power of 4 is x squared squared, and y to the power of 4 is y squared squared. So we'll be having this x squared and the y squared somewhere. So first of all, let's get x squared plus y squared squared. Okay, if you distribute this, then we will have x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 plus 2x squared y squared. Okay, x to 4, y to 4. But then again, we have 2 times x squared times y squared. But we have 3x squared y squared. So we actually need one more x squared y squared term. So that's why, here's a little trick. How about we actually getting um, square of x squared plus y squared plus xy? Let's get the square of this. So this is the same thing as just distributing those two parentheses, x squared plus y squared plus xy times x squared plus y squared plus xy. Okay, then let's distribute this. So if you distribute this, first of all, then we will have x to the power of 4, and then plus x squared y squared, and then plus x cubed y. Okay, then distribute this y squared to those three terms. Then we will be having x squared y squared, and then plus y to the power of 4. Lastly, plus x y cubed. Okay, x, y, distribute to those three terms that we'll be having x cubed, y. And then we have plus x, y cubed. Lastly, x, y times x, y is x square, y square. Now, we can combine the like terms. So we have now x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4. Okay, so cancel out. And then for x squared, y squared term, we have 1, 2, and 3. So we'll be having uh, 3x squared, y squared. So we just cancel those out, and then we're done with it. Then we have um, 
two of x cubed y. So plus, now we have two of the x cubed y. So two x cubed y, we're done with these terms. Then we have two of the x y cubed. So plus two x y cubed. Okay, so this is what we have. But then again, if you check this, what we just distributed is exactly the same as what we need to work on. So that's why we can represent the answer using x and y from now. Okay, so using this, what we are looking for was x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 plus x plus y to the power of 4 over 2. But then again, we just checked that this expression was equal to x squared plus y squared plus xy squared. So that's why, since we need to put square root on top of this, so your answer has to be just x squared plus y squared plus xy. But then again, we already said your x is equal to 11, and then y is equal to 100. That means xy is going to be equal to 1100. So that's why x squared, 11 squared, plus 100 squared, plus 1100. So if you add these numbers, then we can actually get the answer. That is 11221. So the answer for this question is 11,221. Okay, so pretty interesting algebra question from Japanese Math Olympiad. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.